We are at an incredible point in the history of our industry. And for those of you who have been in the industry a long time, like I have, I remember when I started programming computers in the late 70s, and when I walked into that incredible computer lab at Burlingame High School, Burlingame, California, and I saw those mainframe terminals connected back to that mainframe at the San Mateo Union High School District and said, how does this work? And of course, <laughs> no one knew uh, in the uh, school how it uh, happened, and I'm sure a lot of you have had that same experience, and I sat down and I started working on that computer terminal and uh, wrote my uh, first little uh, basic uh, software, and, and that's how my career started. And I'm sure for a lot of you, that was your initial computer experience as well. Well, then we saw this incredible, incredible experience, the evolution of our industry, and it turned from thousands of mainframe computers to millions of computers as we saw the introduction of the personal computer and the introduction of networks and the introduction of servers. But now it's even more exciting because how many people, raise your hand, have one of these in your pockets today? Smartphones. Yeah, billions of them, billions and billions of them. It's amazing what's happening with these devices. And how many of you have more than one smartphone with you today? Raise your hands. We have a special session for all of you too. <laughs> but we all realize that it's not just about billions of smartphones, it's also about billions of connected things. How many of you have something on your wrist that's like a wearable like this, like this Fitbit that I'm wearing? Raise your hand if you have a wearable on today. And connected things and things in our lives that are connected could be a camera, could be our car, could be our home. I mean, we're seeing that unfold before our very eyes. And in addition to that, the trillions of transactions that are coming out of these devices where they're constantly updating and updating themselves and telling us how to make our lives better. And when we look at this kind of gambit, where everything is connected, and where our customers are connected, and our employees are connected, and our partners are connected, and our products are connected, well, then we have to ask ourselves a question. How do we connect with our customers in a whole new way? Because everything in our industry is changing. The only constant is change. It's amazing. Now, when you walked in here today, you probably saw the theme of the conference is the journey is the reward. And that is a phrase that we got from the incredible late, great Steve Jobs he said that in 1988. You know, Steve kind of got that whole idea, that kind of spiritual concept from his trips to India when he was a teenager, when he first learned about his intuition when he first learned about how life happened inside him. And then he was able to use his feelings to create this incredible industry that we're participating in now. And journey as a reward is also something that we can think about when it comes to this incredible new industry of ours. Because we are all on a journey. We're on a journey with ourselves, we're on a journey with our customers. And the real question is, where are our customers on that journey? Where are our customers on that journey? And we are learning more and more about where they are all the time. Yes, because of that mobility, but about so many other things. There are so many exciting things happening simultaneously in our industry that are changing and evolving how we think about our business. We all know about this incredible mobile revolution. Five billion of these unbelievable smartphones by 2017. They're only getting lower cost. They're only getting easier to use. And everyone has a computer in their pocket. And not just a lightweight computer, far more powerful than that terminal that I programmed back in the late 70s. In my pocket. And it gives me the ability to communicate with everyone and everything that's important to me on a constant basis. This morning, I was able to like get onto Twitter and really look at, okay, what can I do to let people know that there's a live stream this morning, or that this event is happening, or that we have this incredible new product that we're launching called Journey Builder for Apps. And I was able to do everything just with my smartphone. I only travel with my smartphone. For now a couple years, I don't travel with a laptop anymore. I can run my business. I can run everything right from my phone. 
And that's complemented by that connected revolution. Because the second thing I always do is put my Fitbit on. And when I put that Fitbit on and all the other things that are happening in that connected revolution, well, everything starts to get connected around me. And we're seeing that accelerate through application program interfaces, through every device and every capability connecting with another. I have this incredible new treadmill at home from Life Fitness, this amazing Salesforce customer. And I have an app now on my smartphone. And when I am, get down into the gym and I turn on my treadmill, the first thing I do is I just show it my phone. And it generates, a, it generates an incredible barcode and the treadmill connects to the phone. And it says, welcome Mark, welcome back. And it's recording everything that I'm doing. And I, I also have not just an account with Life Fitness, but it's also connected back to my Fitbit as well. And it starts to know who I am. It's a one-on-one -on -one revolution. And you can see 450 billion business events a day happening. Because now Life Fitness and, Fit, and Fitbit, they know more about me than ever before. And I want their help and I want their advice and I want them to show me where I am on my journey. And then that same application lets me bring in all of my friends on all my social networks, on Twitter, on Facebook, on everything that I'm a subscriber to, on Salesforce One. Even our employees are connected into our Fitbit network, actually. It's amazing. And we're all competing against each other and trying to make ourselves better. It's awesome. And you ask any Salesforce employee to show you what's running on their smartphone, and they'll show you Salesforce One. And they'll show you that Fitbit app and you'll see how it's connected back to all these devices. And this is not just about health and fitness, which is obviously transforming faster than we could have ever realized, but it's also about something much, much bigger. It's about how everything is getting connected and how we're engaging in a whole new way. And then you look at the data that's being generated, you know, 1.5 billion terabytes of data generated by business every single year. That's amazing. The amount of data that's happening and the insights and the analysis and understanding that we can get from that data is incredible. You can really know your customer in a whole new way. And that's why we are more motivated, more excited, more inspired than ever before. Way more than ever before. Because we realize, we realize that there has never been a more important time to become a customer company. Some companies are pivoted to their shareholders. Some companies are pivoted to their employees. Some companies are pivoted to their competitors. But the most successful companies today, the most successful companies are pivoted to their customers. You have to pivot to your customer. You have to become a customer company. That's what it's all about. And all of this is happening through apps. These incredible apps that are everywhere. And we see these apps. Every company is becoming a software company. Every company is becoming a cloud computing company. We thought we were gonna be the cloud computing company. Now it's all of you. Who, can, who is not a cloud computing company? Who is not an app company? And you just look at the incredible velocity of these apps because the imperative for all of you to connect to your customers through this app revolution. And you put these things together, apps, and you put together you know, the, the, the transformations in mobility and social networks and in community, and you put together the transformations in analytics, and you start to think about, I need to connect with my customer in a new way, in sales, in service, in marketing. I need to connect with my customer through these apps, through analytics, by helping them to build community with each other. And that's why more than ever before, Salesforce is focused on building a customer success platform. We are the company that is the customer company. We are the company that's helping you, our customers, generate customer success in this incredible new age. It's our singular focus. There has never been a company like this before, a technology company only focused on customer success. 
and building a customer success platform. And that's what this conference is all about. It's about helping you to create more success with your customers. That's what we want to do. We want to create more success for your customers. Because we will only succeed at Salesforce if you succeed. And that is why we're all here today, to help others and to help others succeed. And we are finding incredible partners and new opportunities to do that like never before. And one of the traditional forces that we found to do that is these incredible, incredible service providers and agencies and systems integrators. But the one that we are so impressed with and who rushed to us and we've had a great relationship with is this amazing organization called Omnicom. And we are so excited to announce this amazing Omnicom relationship today. An alliance between Salesforce and Omnicom that's a platform for these integrated journeys to partner with our customers and to be able to provide this next generation of customer capability, to help our customers become customer companies. So please welcome Jonathan Nelson, CEO of Omnicom Digital. Jonathan, great to see you again. Great to see you. Thanks for having me up again. Thank you for being here. So Jonathan, you're doing this work every day. Give us your vision. What is happening out there? What is, what, what is going on that we need to know about? At Omnicom, what we're trying to do is connect the right message to the right person at the right time. We're doing that literally millions of times a day. We see 10 million customers a second coming across our real-time biddable platforms. And so this idea of the customer journey connecting browsers to buyers is what we do day in and day out across the world. Now, you see customers across the spectrum, customers that are just starting, customers that are in the middle, customers that are very advanced. Where is this going? You know, where, is, where are we all going with this? All of this being interconnected so that you're up at the top of the funnel, you're just becoming aware of a product category, moving people down the funnel, on the journey, down into a commerce transaction and a post-commerce transaction, say in social media. All of these things are connected. We're making them addressable and accountable and, like I said, putting the right message in front of the right person at the right time on the right device. That's how we see the world moving. What do you think that this partnership now with Salesforce, what, what can we do together that we weren't able to do before? Well, what we've done so successfully with Salesforce so far is the social.com. We've really connected all of the social media, and we've had a great relationship for many years on that. What we're doing is adding all of the CRM components. CRM is very interesting to us because that's primary data about customers. It's not third-party data like a Nielsen-type data but it's actual data about real customers and their actual behavior. When you connect that to the 10 million customers that are coming through channels every second, that primary data becomes incredibly valuable. Salesforce and Omnicom are gonna stitch that together and make all those customers actionable. Well, we couldn't be more thrilled to have the relationship with Thanks you. So Thanks much. so much. Looking forward to it to continue. Thank you. Please thank him.